Hi, my name is Ward Becker, and in this video, we'll get you up and running with Grafana Loki. Today, we're going to run Loki with Docker on our local workstation. You need Docker Desktop and Git, so please install those before continuing with the rest of the video. As a first step, let's go to the Loki GitHub page and clone the repository. We're now on the master branch and change to the production directory. This directory contains the Docker Compose YAML file that allows us to pull the latest Grafana, Loki and Promptail Docker images. Download the images using Docker Compose pull. This can take a bit of time, depending on your internet connection. Okay, now let's run Docker Compose up to fire up the instances. Looking good. Loki, Grafana and Promptil are now running in Docker containers and are ready for use. By default, the Promptil Docker image will till the various logs found in var log of the running instances. So we already have some demo logs to work with. Today, we'll be using Grafana to explore the logs. Alternatively, you can also interact with Loki via its command line interface or its HTTP API. Let's switch to our browser window and open up Grafana. The default password is admin admin. Add Loki as a data source. In this case, it's running on port 3100. Save and test to add the data source. Next, we're switching to the new Grafana Explorer view. This view is designed for troubleshooting and exploration of unstructured log data. Key indexes log lines by labels, just like Prometheus does for metrics. Let's select the log stream by selecting the file name label with the docker.log path as a value. The histogram at the top gives us a quick idea of the quantity of new log lines ingested at every timestamp. Below the histogram, the corresponding log lines are displayed with an adjustable limit of 1000. We can drill down by adding filter expressions. In this case, we are interested in any warnings. Understanding what happened before and after a warning will help us troubleshoot faster. Hoover over any line and click the show context to see the log lines before and after our warning. This is very powerful. Last feature we're gonna dig in is live tailing. This allows us to see and filter the logs as they enter the system. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.